Hey guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name's Rich and I am super, super excited to be sharing with you a drink that I've wanted to share for a very, very long time. It's called Shaky Pete's Ginger Brew. It's like an awesome kind of ginger shandy with a little bit of a kick to it. It's a modern classic, if you will, created in London at a place called the Hawksmoor by a good mate of mine, Shaky Pete. I cannot rave about it enough. This is a fantastic drink to make at home and I'm gonna show you how to do it. The first ingredient in a ginger brew is ginger syrup, so we need some ginger. About 50 grams or so. 50 grams of caster sugar and then 50 milliliters of hot or warm water. Easy. In your blender, switch it on. Once you've blended it, just pass it through a sieve and you're left with this beautiful, fresh, spicy ginger syrup that will last in the fridge for about a week. You can use it for your lemonades, sweeten your tea with it, even put it in a crumble. But of course, its primary function is to sweeten a ginger brew. 50 milliliters of your ginger syrup into the bottom of a blender. Now you're gonna need a blender of some kind for this drink. Um, a blender like this is perfect, but I've seen people use stick blenders, even food processors to make this cocktail. And we're gonna balance the sweetness of the ginger syrup with fresh lemon juice. We're gonna use 50 milliliters. Now it's normally around about the juice of one whole lemon. There you go. Now for the kick to this drink, we're using some London dry gin. I'm using Bombay Sapphire today, 35 milliliters of it. We're using gin because it's gonna give it a lovely dry, fresh kind of kick to the sweet and sour balance from the lemon and the ginger syrup. And Bombay Sapphire in particular because it's quite bright, it's quite fresh. It's a nice, rounded, quite delicate flavor, which I think is gonna work beautifully well with the rest of the ingredients in this drink. Now you want this drink nice and cold and you wanna give it a little bit of a dilution just to soften the edge of that ginger a little bit. So ice, but you really don't need much, four or five, big ice cubes, and blend. Now you don't want it to blend it for too long. Remember, there's only a very small amount of ice in there, and we want to leave some of those lovely little shards of crystally ice in there, because it's going to give this drink great texture. We're going to pour this into a tankard. Find yourself a nice sort of beer glass. I like something with a handle. It's nice and comforting, absolutely gorgeous. It just screams, drink me. And then top it with a local pale ale. Now I'm using a pale ale because it's going to give these wonderful kind of citrusy, kind of almost like gooseberry, grapefruity kind of flavours to it. It's going to work well with the citrus in here. That lovely maltiness and ginger just works beautifully. Now you want to pour about halfway. So there it is, Shaky Pete's Ginger Brew, the drink that changed my life. Oh, that is just gorgeous. It's super fresh, it's citrusy, it's gingery, it's got that lovely, lovely underlying note of juniper running all the way through it, and then the beer gives that lovely, multi, citrusy freshness to it and a load of length. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, I could not encourage you more to try this drink at home. It's an absolute classic for your arsenal of home-making cocktails. And if you wanna try more drinks, check out the Lagerita up here. It's absolutely gorgeous with tequila and uh, Cheers. I'm off to enjoy this in peace. Bye guys. <laughs>